Welcome to Virtual Storytime with the Columbus Metropolitan Library. My name is Angie, and I'm going to be your storyteller today. Now, just like story times at the branches, we are going to work on some skills. These are the four ready for kindergarten skills that allow your child to be ready for kindergarten. So here's our skills, letter knowledge, beginning letter sounds, vocabulary, and rhyming. So at all of our branches, we work on these skills at story time, and we always have a letter of the day. All right, so story time, is not only for little ones, we're gonna have lots of fun and it'll be entertaining, but it's also for the grown-ups in the room. So grown-ups, we are gonna have some really great tips for you, okay? So today, we're gonna to work on our letter, right? And not only will we work on our letter of the day, but we're gonna concentrate a little more on rhyming. Now rhyming is one of the most important skills. It allows little ones to start to hear those sounds, right? Rhyming is a precursor to reading because it's all about hearing and putting together sounds, right? Okay, so we're gonna work on those two things, letter of the day and rhyming. Grown-ups, listen in, I'm gonna tune in for you and let you know some tips when you're working with your little one at home because we have lots of time to work on those things at home right now. All right, so let's work on our letter. Now, there might be some clues sitting right behind me about our letter of the day. Dinosaurs! Oh, there are dinosaurs back here. Oh, yes. So dinosaurs. Dinosaurs start with letter D, D, D. D, yes. Letter D. So our letter today is letter D. So grown-ups and little ones look at each other and say D, D, D. Yes. Look at your mouth when you say that. Look at the grown-up's mouth. Look at your little one's mouth and say, da, da, da. Letter D, right? Okay, so we're gonna write our letter. Now, writing is one of those ready for kindergarten skills uh, that comes with plenty of practice. So let your little one practice a lot with writing, even if it's scribbling, use markers, use crayons. Let them help, let them help you write a grocery list, maybe, and one of the things that's really great to do is let your little one watch you write. So after our stories today, and I'll remind you at the end, I want you to write with your little one and practice writing the letter D. So here we go, we're going to write, I've got my paper right here. We're gonna write a line down, whoop. We're gonna go back to the top and curve around to the bottom, whoop. We're going to do a circle for our little lowercase letter. Now, grown-ups, the sign of a good alphabet book is that it has an uppercase and lowercase letters in it. We use mostly lowercase when we write, right? So we're gonna do a circle. Whoop, and a line. Whoop, right on the back side. And here's my letters. Here's my letter D. All right. So, after stories, write your letter D. And let your little one work on writing those letters too. Now, they may be scribbling, but that's great. Scribbling is the beginning. And then the scribbles turn into lines and shapes, and lines and shapes turn into letters, okay? So let's get started with our book. I'm gonna put my pen down. We're gonna get our book, and we're gonna look at the cover. Yes, here's our cover. Hmm. What do you see on this cover that might start with the letter D? Dragonfly. Oh, a dragonfly. Great. Hmm, what else do we see? Dirt. Oh, dirt. Dirt, very good. Dirt, dragonfly. Hmm, something else I spy. Dinosaur! Yes! Oh, do you see our letter too? I spy a D, and I spy a D here. Very good. Denny Dinosaur by Karen Beaumont. All right, so we're gonna look at all these clues on the front, and we're gonna see Maybe there's some clues about what this book is about. What do you think it's about? 
Hmm. A oh, a dinosaur? Hmm. Very good. I see that word too. Dinosaur. A dirty dinosaur. And a dirty dinosaur. That's so true. Dirty. That's a really great description word. Dirty. All right. Let's see what happens. Now, little ones, you have a role to play. Your, your role is to say, and it's, this repeats over and over, scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. So say it with me. Here we go. Ready? Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Very good. All right. And grown-ups, you have a role too. Your role is to say, back you go. All right. Now, when you say your lines, right, look at your little one or little ones when it's your turn. Look at your grown-up. And so when we say scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, look at your grown-up and say scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Okay. And then grown-ups, when we say your line, back you go, look at your little ones, okay? All right, so here we go. And remember our rhyming focus. So you might notice me stopping and, and concentrating on some of those rhymes. All right. On a warm, sunny day in a prehistoric land, a dinosaur played in the mud and the sand. Land and sand. Land and sand. On a warm sunny day in a prehistoric land, a dinosaur played in the mud and the sand. He filled up his bucket, then he dumped it on his head. Oh my goodness, Denny, you're a mess, Mama said. You're going to need to take a bath before you go to bed, said and bed. Dirty Denny Dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his feet with a, oh, here's your part. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Silly Denny Dinosaur, don't you know? You have to take your shoes off. You don't take a bath with your shoes, do you? Mm -mm. Now here we go, grown-ups ready? Look at your little one and say, back you go. So, go and so. Dirty Denny Dinosaur splashed in the tub and he tried to wash his legs with a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Silly Denny Dinosaur, don't you know? You have to take your pants off. You don't take a bath with your pants on, do you? Do you? Oh, here we go, grown-ups. Back you go. So. Dirty Denny Dinosaur splashed in the tub and he tried to wash his tummy with a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Silly Denny Dinosaur, don't you know? You have to take your shirt off. Here we go, grown-ups. Back you go. Back you go. So, Dirty Denny Dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his head with a scrub-a-dub-dub. Silly Denny Dinosaur, don't you know? You have to take your hat off. Here we go, grown-ups. Look at your little one. Back you go. Finally, Mama Dinosaur checked him head to toe. Head to toe. And she looked him up and down and all around. Oh, no. Toe and no. You didn't wash behind your horns. You didn't scrub your back. There's soap still on your scales and your toenails are all black. Oh. Back and black. Said mama, don't you wiggle. All the suds will overflow. Little Denny giggled cause it tickled him so. Wiggle, giggle, wiggle, giggle. Mama read him stories and she sang him lullabies and soon little Dinny Dinosaur was closing his eyes. 
Oh, I hear a sound. Lullabies, eyes. I love you, my sweet Denny, and I will always will, she said. And then she hugged and kissed him, and she tucked him into bed. Good night, my little dinosaur, said Mama with a sigh. And soon they both were deep and sleep, deep in sleep, beneath the starry sky. Very good. <gasps> sigh and sky. So lots of great rhyming words. Very good. You guys did a good job on your part too. Now, at the end, Denny is sleeping beneath the starry sky. Do you ever sing lullabies at bedtime? Yeah? So let's sing a lullaby. We're gonna sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, okay? So this one is one that you should know, right? And we have Twinkle Twinkle, right? Little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above, the world so high, like a diamond in the sky, right? Okay, so we're gonna sing that together. Now, lots of our traditional songs and rhymes have lots of great sounds in them, and they have rhyming words, right? Okay, so even though it's one that we sing all the time, this time we're gonna concentrate a little bit more on the rhymes. So I want grown-ups and little ones to look at each other, all right, look at each other and we're gonna sing to each other, all right? So sing to your little one, sing to your big grown up, and when you hear those rhyming words, I want you to give an extra big smile, okay? So let your grown up know that you've heard that rhyming word by smiling, okay? So here we go. Now, the other thing about songs is that it stretches out those sounds, okay? So it helps little ones tune in to all those different sounds and those rhyming sounds, okay? So here we go. We've got our twinkling hands. All right, here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh my goodness, so I heard all kinds of good words. Star and R, sky, oh, what rhymed with sky? Hmm, can you think of some other rhyming words in there? Hi. Hi, oh, very good, very good. So, just like our song, you can hear how high and sky stretches out those sounds. Star and R, stretching. Good job, and that helps us hear those sounds. Very good. So you can sing that to each other later and stretch out those words and smile when you hear those rhyming words, okay? So the last thing we're going to do together is I'm gonna send you off with a little game to play. And this is the simplest game ever to practice your rhymes, okay? And I like to call it, you rhyme, I rhyme. And I play this with my girls at home. And it can be really silly and it can be lots of fun and you can play it anywhere, right? At home, you don't need anything other than your voice and your brain, right? Okay, so we're going to say a rhyme. We're gonna start with a simple word. Let's do cat, cat. So I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna say cat and bat. Hmm. Now you go. Cat and mat. Oh, cat and mat. Nice. Now I go. Cat and sat. Ooh, very good. Now you go. Zach. Ooh, Zach. Hmm. Cat. 
Cat and Zack. Hmm, I hear that ah sound. Hmm, that's very good. Let's try again. Cat and hat. Cat and hat. Very good. So you're just going to bounce back and forth and see how many you can do, okay? If you want to step up the game a little bit, write down your words and then you can practice that writing. So cat and bat and write those words down. Your little one can help you write. You can write and that will have you practicing that writing together, right? Looking at writing and doing writing. So if you want to step it up, write down your words and then you can count how many words you've come up with together. So use any word, cat, bog, dog, right? And bounce back and forth with those rhymes. So we worked on our letter D. So as you go about your day, practice your letter D. Look for things that start with letter D, right? D, D, dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Then practice writing your letter D. And then practice your rhymes. So the best way to practice rhymes is to read picture books with rhymes, right? Read those picture books with rhymes, stop and practice those rhyming words, and play our little game, you rhyme, I rhyme, okay? And bounce back and forth with those rhymes. It can be a really silly, fun game, and it doesn't even have to be words. So if your little one is getting that sound and just saying a silly word that rhymes, perfect. All right. So I'm going to send you off with those tips, right? Practicing our letters, practicing our rhymes, and hopefully you'll join us next time for our virtual story time with the Columbus Metropolitan Library.